Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. If where I am right now looks familiar, it's because it is. Today, I am going to be getting a haircut by the always lovely Kim. So let's not waste any time. Let's get this video started. Vamos. So if you do not remember the video from last time, Kim is located off of Bartlett Boulevard here in Bartlett, Tennessee, right outside of Memphis at Elevate Hair Studios. Let's go in and check her out. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm pretty good, how are you? Right. Fantastic. Good, good. I love the sweater. Thank you, thank That's you. Nice little some, little some light. <laughs> you have a seat. All right. Okay, for you. Can you hold the camera for me? Oh, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Jack it off. Backup camera. Oh, yeah, you can sit down over there. Because this one will most likely overheat. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair grew quite, quite a bit. It has. When's the last time you had a haircut? In Mexico City, so uh -huh. a month ago. Okay. It grows pretty fast, though. Yes. I see. Are we able to do something different than I usually do? Or do I have enough hair to do that? Yeah, it's whatever you want. All right. I know last time you said you wanted like a half a. Right. Um, you said a comb over. So I was thinking if you still wanted to do like a half a with a comb over, um, I would suggest maybe trying out like a, a hard part. Maybe have you, have you had a hard part before? I don't think so. Okay. If I have, I don't remember. Yeah. What do you have in mind though? The come over sounds good. The come over? Sure. Okay. With a hard part? Yeah. Something different. Okay. Now, when I do the ball, when, when I do the high fade, it's going to be pretty high. Okay. Okay. Um, what about your beard? I'd like to get it trimmed. Okay. And just lined up? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's get to it. You have any plans for Christmas or? Not really, no. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans? No, I'm gonna let these kids open mm -hmm. up their gifts and relax. I'm <laughs> not doing nothing else. Are you doing Christmas shopping? No. You sound like me. I got a couple things to get and I'll be done. But I'm always last minute when it comes to certain things. Same. Let me know if you get too hot in here. Sometimes okay. it gets a little warm. I was freezing this morning. Uh huh. I saw you got a new car. I do. Got one yesterday. Okay. Did you plan on getting one or no? Just... I was having car problems and gotcha. they couldn't look at it until next week. So. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time getting a Honda? No, this is like my fourth one. Okay, I got a Honda as well. You do? Mm hmm. What kind of honey do you have? It's a Sonata of hybrid. Okay. First time having a hybrid. I don't know too much about hybrids and all that stuff. So. I think it's just gas. Yeah. Very good on gas. Yes. Yeah.
Are you done traveling for the rest of the year? I am. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> Trying to go to Honduras in February. In Honduras? Yeah. Okay. Have you been there before? No. So what's the longest plane ride you ever get on? Probably to... I don't know. Uh, Australia maybe? Okay. How long was that? 14 hours. So what you do the whole time? Just... And then when I went to Singapore six weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, from Dallas to Tokyo, that was like a 13 hour flight. And then I had a seven hour flight from Tokyo to Singapore. Sleep most of the time. I try to. Yeah. I can't sleep on play. I don't know why. I, just, I can never get comfortable. That feels pretty good. <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> So is there um, a specific airline you prefer to fly with? Not really, no. Right, okay. I mean, I have miles with uh, American Airlines. Mm -hmm. They're usually the best internationally, American Airlines. Okay. Have you ever experienced like bad air turbulence? Oh yeah. How was that? Uh, scary sometimes. Yeah. I've been on some scary flights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like from Berlin to London, uh, the runway had too much fog to where the plane couldn't land. Mm -hmm. So they had to do some automated landing. Emergency parachutes, or right. something like that. 
but I don't think it would work. <laughs> How long have you been growing your beard out? I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think Aline trimmed my beard, so probably mm -hmm. in Phuket, Thailand, maybe? Okay. Or Malaysia? Mm -hmm. So almost two months ago. You want to trim down or just lined up? Trim. Okay, Do you watch anime? Do I watch anime? Mm -hmm. Um, not really. Oh my goodness. You got a star. You're missing out. I tried to a <laughs> while ago. I feel like it's becoming more popular now. Like back when I was growing up, people think it's weird to watch anime. <laughs> right. My ex girlfriend tried to get me into it. Mm -hmm. Like a fairy tale. Okay. Have you seen that one? Mm -mm. Then, of course, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like who hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> That's a classic. I really don't care for. Are you familiar with Super? Even though you don't watch it, Dragon Ball mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z. No. Okay. They got a newer Dragon Ball Z. I don't really care for. A Nickelodeon version? No, it's just like the characters are way more powerful, but it's, I don't know, I just, I can't get into it. But if you ever want to, like, if you do want to start watching anime, I would suggest um, Attack on Titan. Okay. Start off with that. That's one of my top three. Is that on Netflix? I think so. I want to say, I think season season one is here. So this is my third video with you now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, for those who have not seen you cut my hair before, uh, how long have you been cutting hair for? Uh, since I was 12. But since you were 12? Yeah, but consistently, I'd say about two years. Two years? Yeah. Did you have to get a license to do it here? Oh, yeah. Okay. But I was still cutting before I got my license. Right. Yeah. I know the government's kind of weird about that kind of stuff. Yeah.
I don't think they need a license in Mexico. To go really? Here. I doubt it. Okay. So they have 16 year olds cutting hair over there. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like, at least the school I went to, I feel like barber school really doesn't teach you how to cut necessarily. Because honestly, I learned off YouTube. Right. But it does, uh, it does like help you as far as with like sanitation wise and knowing about, you know, certain skin diseases and, you know, things you need to look out for. So. Does my skin look okay? Oh, yeah, it was okay. good, yeah. <laughs> What's the worst customer you've ever had? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I've been lucky enough not to get anybody too bad. Right. Um, I gotta think on that. <laughs> like the worst haircut that I've ever had was probably, I don't know if I should say it, but uh, in San Salvador, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. That was a very good haircut. What was wrong with it? Just say it. The, the haircut looked bad, yeah. first of all. just started on the haircut and after I bought him out, I don't know why I did that, he just turned around in the mirror and just puffing and puffing. He tell you he just ready to go. But I'm like, I don't want to rush through your haircut and have you walk out with a, you know, a chili bowl. Right. I like to take my time, but I think that's probably not the worst experience, but it doesn't bother me too much. And then before I started doing the videos, uh, I went to Fantastic, Fantastic Sam's once. Mm -hmm. And this was when I was doing buzz haircuts. And you used to get buzz? Yeah. Okay. And this guy did it in like less than two minutes. <laughs> and my ears were bleeding, my head was bleeding. Oh, he was a heavy head. Yeah. He did not care at all. <laughs> Side. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so beautiful. So yeah, this is my third video with Kim. My first one was about a year and a half ago. <laughs> then my second one was back in September, I believe. Hmm. Hold on. I just have to figure out that. All right, we're good. I had to switch cameras because my GoPro Hero 11 overheated. They usually overheat around 20 minutes, unfortunately. Oh well. <clears throat> I love your hair. That's oh, nice. thank you, thank you. You know, as I stick with blonde most of the time, <laughs> that's my favorite.
Have you ever had any color in your hair? When I was in high school, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've colored my beard a few times. Okay. I was an emo kid in high school. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Had the black hair, the piercings. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can find a photo and I'll put it in the video. That was back during MySpace days. I remember MySpace. Yeah. Used to have a little, uh, what's it, the top eight. Top eight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So do you ever have like any goals for like the new year? I do this uh, for 2023. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to at least 10 new countries because last year or this year I only went to three new countries. Uh -huh. Colombia, El Salvador, and South Korea. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to more next year. Okay. Do you have any resolutions? Uh, if I do, I don't stick to them. <laughs> but I would like to stay consistent in the gym more. Oh, right. Yeah. You put beard oil in No, I don't. Uh -huh. Probably should. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty soft though. I feel it. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Shoot, So whenever you go to Mexico, like, what's your favorite food to eat? My favorite food mm -hmm. would have to be enchiladas. Okay. Either enchilada roja or verde or suiza. Mm -hmm. uh, Mino gusta enchilada mole. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't like enchilada mole. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite Mexican food? If you like Mexican food. I do, it's not my, my go-to, right. but I'm pretty basic. Tacos. Tacos, burritos, yeah. yeah. So do you know any like authentic restaurants here that you tried before? Or? Not really, no. The enchiladas look much different here than in Mexico. Mm. In the quesadillas. When's the last time you just shaved your whole beard off? 2015. Mm -hmm. So seven years ago. Did you like the look or you I noticed there was a few barber shops in this shopping center. Oh yeah. I never knew that until I moved over here. Yeah. Do you know the people that work at those shops? Uh -uh. You never talk to them? Uh -uh. They don't ever come in here? No. no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Have you seen any movies recently? Like Black Panther, Black Adam? I saw Black Adam. Okay. How was that? It was all right. Have you seen it? No, not yet. No. I won't spoil it for you. Uh, it don't matter if you do or not. <laughs> After this. The Rock didn't come into the movie until like 30 minutes after the start time. He didn't really say much mm -hmm. in the movie. But he was the main character? I don't know. I think it would have been better if it was like a Marvel movie. I think it would have been done better. That's DC though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But if it was a Marvel movie, I think it would have been a better production. Yeah, maybe. gotcha. That's like if you went to go see a Spider-Man movie and Spider-Man didn't come into the movie until 30 minutes later. Yeah. Kind of like, okay. See, I'm the type of like, I like, I don't know, I like to get straight into it with right. the action. I'm not a huge movie fan anyway, so. Mm -hmm. I'm like the older I get, I am. Right. Versus, you know, watching TV shows. Have you seen Jurassic World, I believe? Yeah, the last one, uh, Dominion. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. That was good. The one that came out in, I think, June, mm -hmm. in the summer. Yep, I remember because I was, um, it was even between that and Thor. Right. And I heard so many bad reviews on, about Thor. But I love Thor, so I'm like, oh. I've never seen a Thor movie. Really? No. Oh, you, you gotta catch up. I did. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Feels good. Uh, I'm trying to burn you, man. I got a couple people before. <laughs> it's necessary, though. <laughs> oh I've had barbers who did the straight, straight eggs razor. I think it's called. Uh huh. Without doing this, it hurts. <laughs> oh, so they dry shave? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's not too comfortable. I had a monster energy drink and it made me sleepy more so than give me energy. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> it's gonna kick in for like five minutes and right. you, you're gonna go crashing afterwards. Do you drink coffee? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you drink coffee? Every now and then. I used to drink it often last year, but I slowed down.
feel like your Spanish has gotten better? I do, yes. Okay. A little bit. A little better. So it's like, is there any like app that you use to kind of help you learn it or you just... I, I try. I try to do Duolingo, but I get I get um, sidetracked very easy. Yeah. And don't mind me. I'm just detailing as I go. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I know, like some barbers, they'll cut your hair and then detail at the end, but I like to do it as you go. Uh huh. Do you know how to do eyebrow threading? No, no. I've tried it before. It's hard. Do you do manicures or pedicures or anything like that? No, and you know, they taught us that in barber school, but I'm like, eh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to cook. And then in Thailand, they put this like candle in your ear and then light it. To... Oh, I've seen that before. That feels amazing. Does like I, afterwards, anything? yeah. It burns? Uh, just a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like, did they do like manicures, pedicures over there? Yes. In the barbershop? Okay. In the massage shops. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how sure are we going with this? You do your thing. Okay. <laughs> I trust you. Mm -hmm. What does this machine do? Oh, it's just for stain. You remember I used that on your uh, beard treatment okay. last time, yeah. You got any plans for New Year's Eve? I don't. Probably just working. Okay. Do you have any plans? Mm-mm. Um, I can't hang. I think it was <laughs> last year. I, I didn't make it past 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to sleep early now.
Did you already have product in your hair? Today? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. It's just thick. You got any animals? I do. Mm -hmm. I have two cats. Okay. Isaac and Sally. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I got two dogs. Two dogs. Mm -hmm. I used to have a cat, but I didn't I wouldn't consider her a cat because mm -hmm. she used to act just like a dog. He's a black cat. Oh, right. Boy. Yeah, like that. No, you're good. <laughs>
That looks fantastic. Okay. Muy right. guapo. <laughs> Gracias para tu. Thanks yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that's going to do it for this haircut and beard trim video with the always lovely Kim. Yeah, Can't wait to do another video with you. Can't awesome. wait to see you again. <laughs> Wow, Kim did an exceptional job on my hair. Thank you so much, Kim, for making me muy guapo, very handsome. It feels good to be handsome. You know what? I forgot my jacket. Hold on. I can't forget my jacket. I got that jacket in South Korea. I think I forgot something. My jacket. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, see you later. Thank you again. You're but yeah, the comments, a lot of the comments that I got on my previous haircut videos, y'all recommend that I switch things up. So I sort of did. I mean, it's in the same wheelhouse as the haircut that I usually get, but a little higher fade, a lot higher fade. I think it looks really good though. I think I think it look very handsome, muy guapo. Kim did an exceptional job, like I said. So let's not end the video quite yet. Um, yesterday I went to Hyundai because my 2021 Hyundai Tucson was having problems. I was having problems with my radiator hose and uh, so I went up there and they said they couldn't even look at my car until next week and I can't wait until next week because without a car I don't make money. So uh, I was like you know what that car had almost 80,000 miles on it. I was bound to run into even more problems and eh, I just didn't want to deal with it. I did not want it to interfere with my travels so i got me a brand new 2023 hyundai tucson a little different color than i usually get this is like a dark gray i think they call it portillo gray i decided to get a new car not only because of the miles and whatnot but uh well they gave me a good deal on it my car note is about $50 or so more than it was previously. Not too bad. So uh, my trip to Honduras in February should still be on. Uh, it just depends on my upcoming paychecks. If they uh, look good, there should be no reason why Honduras is not happening. By the way, if you didn't hear in that barbershop, I am planning on going to Honduras in February. Uh, I'd like to do a full Central American trip. We'll see what I can do. Uh, we'll see what I can do. All right. Um, once again, thank you, Kim, for this very nice haircut.